Good evening, good to have you with us in this edition of the Urban Debate. Tonight, one more time viewers, we are going to put the spotlight on the essential supply chain and where exactly the problems lie. Yesterday, we spoke more about the transport issue and how there are still lacks of trucks stranded on the road. Today, we are going to talk more about the manufacturing aspect because once we run out of the supply which is in the pipeline and in your shop right now the problem then will become whether or not we are manufacturing enough of these goods for us to use them in a few weeks time so let's first look at the pain points in the entire chain we've broken it down to various aspects the first aspect which is what we spoke about yesterday was the aspect of transportation where truckers are unwilling to work right now, borders have been shut down between various states. There are about 6 lakh trucks which are still currently stranded with the drivers forced to take shelters in different parts. Consignments of finished goods thereby is completely stuck. That part we've spoken about. The other part that we are going to talk more about today is the manufacturing aspect where the pain point then becomes manpower. And manpower is a huge issue and I'll tell you why. There is no transport for the workers to reach the factory. So even if the factory is functional, how are people expected to reach their workplace when there is no public transport available, where movement of people has been restricted? Secondly, workers are facing harassment even if they step out. Some have documentation, others don't. Various departments and districts have different kinds of rules for the kind of documentations you need to have if you're on the move. And that's becoming a huge problem, which is why people are saying workers are not turning up. And of course, they're also scared that they will expose themselves to infection. Many of them have headed home to their home villages now, which is why manpower has become a big issue. Now, manpower issue is not just for manufacturing, but also for transportation. The other big pain point is raw material. And many of the manufacturers have told us this. We'll speak about this in more detail today, about how they're unable to get the raw material that is required from the ingredients to the packaging to manufacture and sell their product if that doesn't happen then we are in big trouble i'm going to just highlight a few of the quotes that we have collated just from yesterday and today this this is what the big companies big manufacturers of essential goods are telling us godrej says priority is to ensure movement of trucks and labor availability Parley, another big company, says need government assurance to bring back the labor. People are not coming to work and that is where the government needs to step in. ITC, another big giant that is now uh, you know, hugely in a big way into food products, says we are facing issues with transportation labor availability. Dabur says availability of manpower remains a key issue. Amul says, and Amul was on the show last night with us, Trucks are not being allowed. Manpower available is not enough. Britannia says, one broken link and India could run out of packaged food in 7 to 10 days. That's the kind of warning that is being put out by, uh, put out by big food giants. And Adani Wilmar says, significant shortage of truck drivers and factory workers. How do we address that problem? What is it that the government needs to do here on? That's the big question. Let's go across to our panelists who are joining us this evening. Mayank Shah, head for category of biscuits with Parley, joins us this evening. Mr. Vijay Shetty, vice president for distribution and logistics at Alcom is with this evening. Harendra Shah, director for Girnar Tea. Chandrakan Salunke, founder and president for Packaging Industry Association of India. And Hari Menon, co-founder and CEO of Big Basket, also joining us right now. Uh, thank you all for being with us. Uh, let's begin with you, Mr. Shetty. If you can tell us what the situation is, we spoke with Alcom representatives exactly a week ago. The big problem at that point was ingredients for your drugs uh, and pharmaceuticals and the packaging material. What's the status of manufacturing now? Uh, I would say that compared to last week, the uh, situation has improved. I think with a lot of government machineries now, uh, involved uh, and issuing guidelines. Uh, of course, it is not smooth as what it uh, what it used to be before the lockdown, but still, I think a lot of collaboration with the transporters, uh, making sure that they are getting the right permission. The trucks are not stopped in between. Even if they are stopped, then I would say we would get. Uh, uh, I would say, uh, help them in uh, clearing uh, the. Uh, the state borders and making sure they are reaching the
plant uh, 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 as per schedule. Uh, but yes, uh, there are difficulties, but uh, looking at the current situation, I would say uh, it has improved a lot. Uh, there are, uh, uh, I would say, uh, centers wherein we can call up directly and uh, with respective states we can issue, uh, share our issues and uh, though the response time is better in some states, some states it's a little late, but uh, it's a lot of coordination efforts which ultimately makes things happen. But yes, uh, situation is, I would say, compared to last so week, has improved. Okay, Mr. Shetty, you know, the big focus uh, uh, tonight is, of course, the availability of manpower and raw materials. Uh, are you able to get your workers to your factories for, you know, manufacturing, loading, offloading? What percentage of your, you know, uh, manpower is actually able to turn up for work? See, it's uh, different at different locations. So if we talk about our... Uh, second location we have it uh, compared to last week I would say this week was much better at least 60 70 percent of the manpower is able to join work but in few of the states uh, like uh, uh, places like Bhatti and Daman I would say uh, still the challenge of manpower is uh, there uh, but uh, we have been able to I would say marginally increase uh, to 30 35 percent uh, I would say Okay, so that's uh, some amount of improvement that's taken place. Let me actually now go across uh, to Mr. Chandrakan Salunke. Mr. Salunke, one of the first problems that we saw in the initial days was the fact uh, that uh, raw materials, packaging material were not in the exempted list, but that did change. Are you able to now, uh, you know, uh, provide to your, to your clients what's the extent of manufacturing that, you know, uh, packaging companies are looking at right now? In the first uh, three, four days, there was a little bit you know, hesitation from the uh, workers' point of view. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Go ahead, please. Okay. In the first three, four days, there was a hesitation from the workers. And particularly, a lot of you know authorities like a police and the district collector or a, uh, any other authorities not providing the permission to run the factory. But now when the you know supply, particularly the food supply, pharmaceutical, uh, rather any essential product which is you know use, useful for this uh, during the lockdown lockdown uh, when the shortage started then the government understand the packaging products and packaging material is very important and therefore you know you look at the you know a lot of biscuits not available in the market why because you know the packaging material is not only the packaging product like a, a cardboard box or wooden pallets there is a printing also there is a cardboard uh, manufacturing also. There is a folding also. There is a pinning. So the workers are, you know, hesitate to come on the uh, work because, you know, the first of all, the corona uh, virus. They they feel that, you know, if I work with the closely with the workers, maybe you know, anybody is infected, so I will get it. But now the government should give more importance to the, you know, starting a value addition services, which is, you know, essential products and services where uh, the uh, workers will come, factory will be run smoothly. I know uh, the as per the government, uh, the announcement that they will not extend the uh, lockdown, but we can't say because they're lo looking at the figures now, how the figures are increasing day by day and look at the other countries, the figures. So my suggestion to government, to give more importance to the factories, uh, the workers, those are you know putting efforts for the providing the value addition services, particularly for the food product, pharmaceutical, healthcare, and essential product, which is you know, related to the common people and the common, uh, even you know, small children are not getting biscuits. That is my suggestion. Yes. So where is the problem largely? Is, is it about, you know, those larger boxes that we see uh, for Tetra packs or the thinner plastic material that will be used for your essential food supply for your grains and pulses and biscuits? Uh, where, where do you expect the problem to hit first? See, the, for the, when this announcement uh, happened or the lockdown, uh, particularly it was not, you know, a lot of companies are stored their packaging material. One first three four days they utilize the storage package yes. packaging material. 
now there is requirement there is a requirement to start immediately there is requirement to, to run the factory for 24 hours then only the packaging industry can fulfill the requirement of the large corporates you know the companies those are manufacturing this kind of products which is you know easily can be uh, so, you know transported in a, another very interesting the point now the transport problem very big problem is the transportation because most of the you know states are not allowing the other states transport uh, vehicles so that is the most important now the today uh, i heard from the maharashtra government and the you know central government also they are providing the you know security to uh, to go uh, smooth the transportation from the each state to other state but you know the uh, purely if we look at the uh, the issue now to start the factory to invite the or the call the workers to give them security surety and most importantly whatever the guidelines given by the central government according to the health wise according to covid 19 we have to obey that depend on that we can start a factory okay um in fact because you raised that issue let me ask mr mayank shah that question mr shah extremely essential that people yeah. that, uh, the food in their retail stores neighborhood stores kirana dukan you know on a daily basis now uh, where are you on getting your packaging requirements and even workers to manufacture the food that you will provide uh well so you know as uh, uh, the most gentleman said earlier i think you know uh, uh, that is not a problem now in fact uh, the major problem that we are facing right now is about labor so uh, uh, i would put it this way i would you know uh, break up the entire situation uh, into three parts initially after the lockdown was announced uh, there was no clarity on what would constitute as essential services and while government said broadly you know food but there were question marks on what food as in you know does food only mean grains and cereals uh, yeah. and fresh vegetables and milk or is it even beyond that so uh, we went back to the government and said that you need to clarify because you know uh, uh, packaged food processed food would be a very big part of it and we cannot i mean it lends beautifully to storing in such kind of situation and that i they did it so one thing that i would like to share with everybody right now is that the kind of response time that we have seen uh, you know uh, uh, with government has been phenomenal i mean you know we as a uh, as a uh, federation went to the government uh, uh, and you know through shm through fbmi and we told them that uh, this is a the problem they are that we are facing and in next few hours we were uh, uh, allowed to you know uh, we were told that you know the clarification was issued in few hours i'm talking about matter of hours you know you go uh, to government in the morning by afternoon late afternoon you will have the clarification issued by the government so we approach government through commerce ministry and food processing and in few hours this clarification came after that uh, we were facing as you know it was rightly pointed out problems at uh, because the permissions were granted by local authority and there was confusion uh, first confusion was cleared about the food part then it was out okay you can start manufacturing but uh, there was no clarity on um, uh, movement of goods uh, sourcing of goods uh, raw material packing material and we were facing problems there so we again went and petitioned the government and again in few hours you know that clarification came where they said that so my anxious uh, i think we've lost the line with you we're going to just try and connect that line again uh with my anxious who is giving us a sense of how uh, over the past one week they've overcome some hurdles but the labor and availability Hello. of manpower even for manufacturing is a problem that still exists uh, in fact if i can just you know take that point across uh, to uh, mr harendra shah and mr shah if i look at the list of you know what has now been included in essentials apart from food items and milk um biscuits hand wash soaps uh, detergents uh, disinfectants i see uh, i also see oil i also see um, uh, you know oral healthcare uh, and uh, sanitary healthcare but what about tea is tea going to be part of the essential commodities a lot of people have been asking that question will their kirana store run out of chai patti in the coming days yeah madam tea is for the mass consumption and cheapest uh, cheapest drink next to the water 
people require you know it is for the daily use and morning and afternoon or sometimes nowadays you know people are at home they require four cup a day this is the position but the and we yes. the people are ready you know we at the production side at the production side our all all you know all t people got the uh, you know order from the collector to carry out the production we have we all tea traders having a sufficient stock of packaging material and tea stock to carry out the production but the only problem of transportation no transport is available transport people not having a driver and to carry out the transport from the, you know the some people are having a factory in uh, in gujarat some people are factory having a you know some side of you know this pimadi or any other part of maharashtra but problem of transportation further the distribution also same problem the laborers you know laborers are not ready to come for the security and the from the police station we get only one or two or three passes how you know the for the distribution at least you know our sales staff is working all over the bombay there are more than 3000 grocery shop and how two person can take the order and carry out the distribution and on our letter right we have prepared the passes and everything but there is a harassment from police some some police is allowing some police is not allowing so distribution is disturbed and when we yeah. survey all the grocery uh, stores are lack of tea stock they don't have any tea stock for the, you know for the consumer because all tea stock has been already you know exhausted now so we help from the you know government that least you know they should inform the police people that they should issue the more passes or they should allow on our letter end this is the only problem for tea people otherwise no problem of production no problem of packaging mm. material only police you know all the everywhere police should allow the tea, tea people we are we are holding the order from the central government that tea is an essential commodity and they should be allowed for distribution but that police is police mm. wanted you know their passes only we get i got only two passes my you know our godown is governly gold side i got only two passes how can i you know on two passes i work out this is our main problem uh you you are right mr shah people do need a lot more tea now uh, and i'm sure the demand continues it is an essential commodity in our country yes uh, but just to understand you are saying that this this harassment that's still taking place is this in specific states is it you know specific to maharashtra or gujarat or is it also about your raw material which is coming in No, no. Gujarat is, you know, some distribution is okay because Gujarat government is supporting all, you know, all traders for distribution. But in Maharashtra, even government, even Uddhav Thakre also declared that essential commodity is to be allowed. Don't stop anybody. But police, the information is not passed to the police people. We can go on our letter head. We can prepare the passes on our letter head because all police station having, you know, their lack of passes also. they can issue you know so many passes at least we require 20 to right. 25 passes okay. but we are not getting okay okay i take your point i understand and that's been largely the problem. problem so let what we have say, found out so far uh, viewers is that manufacturers cutting across the essential sub, uh, commodities or essential goods chain are facing the problem of manpower because workers are not able to turn up for manufacturing and that's become the largest problem now uh, if i can just uh, before i go across to hari menon just go right. back to mayank shah we, we lost his feed halfway through his answer mayank shah if you can hear me now go ahead please finish your point yeah yeah no so what i was saying was the second uh, phase was where you know government clarified end to end uh, chain should be exempted that clarified you know further doubts and the last uh, uh, clarification which came about two days back where they said you know uh, all goods uh, irrespective of whether they are essentials or not uh, transport of the same should be allowed 
Now that to my mind was the best thing because uh, as Mr. Sarunke earlier said, uh, let's say, you know, I have a printer who supplies me. He prints me a Paleji wrapper and sends me across. Uh, uh, once it's printed, it's okay. There is no issue. And, you know, anybody who is checking can recognize its essential uh, 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 material or essential item for which the packaging material is going. But what about my printer? He has to source uh, the film, which is not printed, and the ink and, uh, and the ink for the uh, printing. Now, how do you know what is it going for? So I think that was a beautiful uh, thing that was done by government that they yeah. said that uh, let's keep goods out of, you know, the uh, purview of lockdown. Let the movement happen freely. And that, to my mind, solved all the problems. So as far as logistics and, you know, a procurement is concerned, the problems were solved. Manufacturing permits were given. So that was not an issue. Now, the only issue that is faced by the industry is of the manpower, as I said. Uh, what has happened is that... Uh, 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 a work, a migrant workers that we talk about that who are moving towards their native place or who have already gone to their native place, uh, you know, is an issue today. So uh, we are not getting enough people uh, in our plants, you know, to uh, operate it properly. And uh, that too much. Okay, I think we've lost that feed again, but the problem of in uh, workers, especially once the migrants have left, continues. Um, let me go across to uh, Mr. Hari Man. And Hari, thanks so much for patiently waiting by. Uh, we spoke to, you know, the big e-commerce giants last week. And obviously, at that point of time, the problems were galore. We understand there's been a, uh, quite a bit of improvement since then. What's the biggest issue now in getting these supplies to people's homes? Single biggest uh, problem is people, right? Uh, you know, but I must just state this last week, what we went through, I think the government has just done an outstanding job. I think, uh, you know, they've been so focused, you know, DPIIT, we've already had two, two reviews and, and the speed of decision-making has been outstanding. Uh, the local support that we've, that we've got from, uh, from all the police departments, uh, from the from the district magistrate magistrates the commissioners etc has also been outstanding frankly uh, you know we got up and running in in 25 cities uh, in essentially two days uh, so so at big basket actually we are we are we are pretty much geared right now and uh, i must also state that that what we've not had a problem with you know you know since we started is supplies uh, we've had consistent supplies um, from from all our suppliers uh, our own private label, which is, you know, our entire range of staples, you know, our fruits and vegetables, we've currently, as of now, don't see an issue for some time to come. Uh, you know, all our uh, processing centers are, are all geared and, uh, and, and ready for supplies, uh, including packaging material. However, I think one thing that even the government, uh, you know, can't, can't help or, or can't solve and we don't expect them to is that uh, the biggest problem we are facing is people. And that happens to be a consistent theme across from all the all the panelists yeah. that I've heard. Uh, we've, we've uh, you know, it's 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 been quite a struggle since we started to get get our people back. Uh, what happened was we were we were shut for shut for um, uh, essentially two days, and because of which a lot of people actually crossed borders and 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 went off. And I, we are actually not making too much of an attempt to get them back because uh, there is no transportation. I think there is there, there are a lot of uh, local panchayats and villages that are holding them back, and so we are not. We are not even, Trump, you know, making an attempt on that. So, so currently, I think the biggest thing that's holding us back to scale, and single biggest thing, uh, everything else has got sorted, including supplies, is people. So, so we are right now running at uh, close to about anywhere between forty and fifty percent of our capacity, because that's all the all the uh, number of people that we have. Uh, uh, you know, we are we are finding it um, a little difficult to get people on our distribution center and warehousing side. It's a little easier on the last mile, but all put together, we are actually running at close to about 45, 50% of capacity. And thanks to which, uh, you know, our slots um, shut early. Uh, people are not able to, you know, place orders because, because the short slots are closed. Uh, you know, there's a huge, huge rush uh, of people coming in. So that's the single biggest issue that we, are, uh, that we are facing today. We are doing multiple, multiple things to sort that. Uh, and, uh, you know, and I must state this, that I think what each one of us must try and do, uh, and that's, that's the message that, you know, I wanted to give is, 
is try and and get to people who are currently uh, you know you know not working there are, there are so many industries that are actually shut you know look at the restaurants so we are working very closely with the national restaurant association of india nationally look at the non essential retailers so we are working very closely with the retail association of india we are working with a lot of factories where people are um, you know uh, today not not working and what we are trying to do is tell them that you know uh, we will take people and moment things start you know they will come back to you so that's that's what we're trying to do because then it helps and it's a win win situation for both but all said and done uh, you know we're still operating at at close to anywhere between 40 and 50% across across our cities and this i suspect will start becoming a problem for in, for for the supply chain right through and the single biggest problem they'll start facing is 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 making sure that they get enough enough people in their factories to produce the good thing however is that since we are only selling essentials right now and that's the only thing that's got clearances uh, the number of items that each of them need to need to manufacture has come down and hence that will help actually in terms of manufacturing and production so so i think we just need to solve this people issue and you know we are uh, you know we need to just be at it and and i'm sure over a period of time uh, people will realize that that when there is an opportunity to work and earn money in difficult situations like this people will come and join the workforce okay that that's an interesting idea to tap into people who are available perhaps in different segments and industries uh, but out of work right now who perhaps can be used but uh, you, as an industry as an association we can look at it what else can be done mr vijay shetty what else can be done to resolve this manpower problem because if we don't get the people uh, in our factories and people getting this uh, these goods to uh, to our stores and to our big cities then we'll run into trouble so what can we do to solve this problem I think uh, one of the uh, initiatives I think which many of us are taking is to how do we encourage uh, our uh, manpower to uh, come back and also make them realize that they are working uh, for a pharmaceutical organization which is involved in supplies of essential medicines so as a pharmaceutical organization uh, we have been able to reach out to our uh some of our manpowers and trying to explain it to uh them in a way where uh they are motivated to join when they see that all precautionary measures are taken they feel confident and they are able to join but having said that it's not only manpower at the manufacturing side i would say manpower at the transportation end today even the drivers even the loaders and loaders uh there is scarcity because of this situation uh we hope that uh, in next one week's time situation improves and we get this workforce back as of now uh, of course scarcity of manpower scarcity of transportation is across the world across the uh, india but what is more important is that uh, if continuous uh, supply chain uh, uh, i would say traction is made uh, slowly slowly the manpower also would uh, return the mic the labor force which has migrated of course it would be difficult but people who are in house uh, i think we can give uh, confidence to them in terms of uh, how they are contributing uh, to the cause and uh, working for essential commodities uh, for the country Okay. Okay. Uh, let me also ask this question then, Mr. Mayank Shah. Maybe you can take this one up. Uh, even if you find the manpower, even if you are able to tap into uh, tap into the migrants who are right now in shelter homes, convince them, get the paperwork for them to get them to your factories. is the fact that we need to maintain social distancing norms and we have to uh, and ensure the safety and the you know the uh, health safety of these workers also going to be then an issue that the manufacturers haven't looked at yet no i think that's not the case uh, the reason being uh, there are clear cut directives from the government plus i think uh, uh, manufacturers are aware about you know the kind of uh, uh responsibility that they have so to begin with government initiative uh, there is a government directive that uh, you cannot work with more than 50% of your manpower 
so that you know straight away gives you that okay. uh, 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 advantage that you know you will be able to maintain that social distancing that's one secondly there are directives in terms of maintaining the hygiene uh, social distancing and other thing in fact uh, you know most uh, big corporates are very very cautious about it so for example if i talk about ourselves uh, not only you know uh, do we have uh, use of sanitizers where you know people sanitize their hands frequently uh, and a temp their temperatures are checked every few hours so i'm uh, you know while Uh, the government directive is to check it you know once every uh, day uh, we do it uh, every few hours so you know uh, that's the kind of uh, 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 caution uh, you know that is being followed by uh, manufacturers so that to my mind is not an issue and as i said uh, and you know as uh, 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 hari also said that you know i think the response from uh, government has been phenomenal i mean Uh, you know i have never seen in my life the kind of response time that we have seen in this time of crisis when they have come back to us and you know uh, given solutions yes. in matter of hours so that to my mind has really changed the entire game uh, in you know just about 2 3 days most of the industries uh, were up and running and i'm sure uh, you know if it's uh, uh, going forward i mean if it's the same way then hopefully in next four or five days i think we would be able to you know operate to our uh, uh, full capacity when i say full capacity it would be just 50% because the government directive of you know uh, uh, employing or using the labor that you have on your roles uh, is that you know you can only use 50% of them so i think uh, to the maximum permissible capacity which would be 50% uh, typically because of the 50% labor directive uh, i think we would be able to reach in next few days if uh, things continue like this Okay. Okay. Point well taken, uh, Mr. Hari Menon. The other thing that I wanted to check was that obviously there have been constant updations to what's exempted under under this essential goods, uh, you know, um, uh, list, and more products have gradually been added. Are there still some essential products that are missing from this list that you would want the government to look at? No, no, I I don't think so because they've already released the second list. Uh, DPIIT, um, you know, released that. after um, uh, a meeting that all of us had and and that happened very very quickly and i think with that list i think we are pretty much we are pretty much okay right the idea is that we shouldn't you know i don't think there's any point in adding anything more because i think this the second version of the list you know pretty much you know covers uh, you know a very very decent range the idea is to keep it tight so that manufacturers also are uh, are comfortable so that you're producing less and larger quantities you know of of lesser number of items so that so that's what is useful so there's no point in just adding and i think what what uh, what we now have is a very comfortable list we have all pruned our uh, you know our catalogs we pruned it to a level where it's uh, you know anywhere between 3000 3500 products we otherwise normally sell about 40 45000 products right so so we brought it down to that level because idea is to right now focus on the essentials and uh, and the coverage is pretty good right now Okay, and uh, um, and you know, just for your own business, uh, how much of the orders are you able to service right now, uh, and when do you expect you know the the the, uh, the supply to smoothen further? Yeah, you know, directly proportional to the number of people we have, because it's a it's a it's a direct uh, you know uh, you know uh, it it's a it, it it contributes directly. So so we yeah. so I was telling you we are at about forty forty fifty percent of our of our capacity, and that's what we are. uh you know we are uh, kind of able to um, uh, you know deliver right now and that's that's sad because there are so many people who want to buy we have absolutely no issue on supplies you know we have stocks of everything but just the fact that we're not getting enough people uh is 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 stopping people from coming and placing orders but once they place an order they get stuff within 3 4 days which they are comfortable with today today the time it takes is not as much as an issue as 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 getting a slot you know just to uh, just to place an order so we are at about 50% uh, you know and i think we are gradually improving you know there is a huge drive and i'm and i'm pretty confident that you know uh, over the next few days we will see uh, things improving on the people place and my and my and my real request to to all industry all of us sitting here on the panel is to start creating uh, you know a sense uh, of national pride amongst these amongst these people right so we started doing that we created videos we are, we are actually trying to reach out to them saying saying you're doing a great service one second is that we need to tell all of them that you all of us uh, like mine said we've taken a lot of effort to actually make sure that 
you know we can get as safe as it's uh, as as it's necessary so all kinds of things have been done to make sure of that third that the government um, uh, you know is willing mm -hmm. to give us passes you know it it was an issue earlier you know of of uh, of because there were different states doing doing it differently but but we worked very closely with all the local authorities bangalore did a wonderful job most of the cities actually did a great job uh, so so we can get passes provided we have number of people so we are also not wanting to strain the system of taking more passes than than what we need because we understand that the government is also trying to be very very careful so all those issues have got sorted right it's just that we need to build confidence in our people the people to come back and we got to do it together tell them safe you have great place to work you must earn right now not give up earning capability and what you're doing is something which is of national pride Um, I understand what you're saying, but while you're saying that you know the issue of passes has been sorted, I have Mr. Harendra Shah of Girnalty who's saying that's still the biggest problem: passes or not, uh, people are still getting harassed. And so, how do you get the workers to to your factories, uh, Mr. Harendra Shah? Even if everybody is given a pass, how do you expect the workers to get to the manufacturing facilities to get to your godowns? Uh, in, in the in the light of the fact that there is you know public transport is also a problem right, right now uh, will the manufacturers and companies have to arrange transport no no madam if the, once we get the passes otherwise if you, if they allowed on our letter aid we don't require passes we can we can make declaration on our letter aid and if police is allowed and you know our worker will get confidence then we can get our worker you know from out station by sending you know by we can send uh, you know some some transport to our worker and get the worker for distribution but worker should get confidence and they have no problem okay. to traveling you know we want that worker should have confidence you know this is a problem because worker get you know that if okay. police will not allow and they will get danda that's why you know this is the workers are getting uh, this problem is the worker only this uh, otherwise we are ready okay, to okay the biggest problem still is to convince the have, workers to come know, home talk, everything is i get there. that point very uh, yes yeah. mr shah i'm a little short on time so i'm quickly going to get one closing See, comment once, from mr salunke as well mr salunke any further suggestions that you have to solve the problem of getting the workers to the factories if they don't manufacture then what are we going to be consuming few weeks from now what further can be done See, two things are there. You know, government should understand the essential products and services, particularly. And second, government should allow the you know the workers to work properly in the factory. Third thing, uh, industry should approach the police department or the concern authority to take the permission to run the factory. And third is most important thing: government should reconsider by using the plastic because a lot of plastic industries closed down for last two years this is the time now to give the permission to plastic industry which is facing a lot problem by you know the restriction of the plastic single use plastic but you know government should you know give proper hand holding and support see look at the you know the uh, the uh, hospitals equipments are not available plastic equipment uh, items are not available so this is a time now to government should understand the requirement and timely requirement for the you know hospital industry particularly when the you know crisis is there so third thing i suggest the government to you know to invite and to bring the you know casual labor because uh, all industry there is a casual labor is available and the contract labor this contract labor is not coming back because of the you know uh, the fear that this covid uh, attack will be more more time will be there or what is the security and very important point i want to suggest the government to look at that uh, most of the industry owners are you know inquiring to us how we will give the opportunity to work the worker in the factory we have to ask for a test report that test negative test report or not so this is a very important thing government should think uh, uh, to impose that you know Every worker is coming. You should bring the you okay. know uh, the certificate, uh, certificate that he doesn't have uh, any COVID attack, COVID uh, or any uh, infected.
Yes. In fact, you know, that uh, one point that you raised, Mr. Salunke, is very important and I fear that the, uh, the next conversation and focus will have to be around that, which is to get these migrant workers back once the COVID battle is done and we're able to lift the lockdown and we're able to restart our economic activity. Just how soon is the industry able to get these workers back is going to be the next big challenge for us and we will have to have a conversation at that point of time. But I'm going to thank all of our panelists for joining us right now. Manpower, manpower, manpower. That's the big keyword that's coming in from our manufacturers. Whether they're making chai or biscuit or your important medicine or delivering the big, you know most important food items right to your doorstep. The big problem even now is getting the workers uh, to their factories, to their go-downs, to drive the trucks, uh, to deliver the goods at home. And perhaps that is where uh, the whole industry and the government need to come together and, and come up with a solution so that we're able to continue with the supply chain and it doesn't get impacted as India stays in this lockdown period for at least three weeks. Thank you so much to all of you for joining us on this conversation.